Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kay the Guy. So today we're going to talk about how to use a microscope in order to take a look at your soil or your biology in your soil and to really assess what's going on in there in today's episode. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use a shadowing microscope in order to understand how to measure biology in soil as well as many other things. Now the great thing about being able to look under a microscope and understand or see what you're looking at is that you can use this tool in order to measure what may or may not be happening on the biological level in your soil with any of your plants. And with proficient skills at using a microscope, coupled with the knowledge of understanding what you're looking at, you can really track the health in real time of what's going on with your plants in the soil. But first, I want to let you know that this is the first of three episodes of using the microscope. The first today, we're just going to go over the basics. The second episode is going to be on is how to test a soil sample. And the third will be how to test a liquid sample. A liquid sample could possibly be rainwater that you're using or possibly ditch water if you're growing outside or if you're using any kind of liquid amendment like a tea or an extract. You'll be able to take a look at what's going on under the microscope and really kind of determine is this good or the, is this bad? What's going on with the biology on a microscopic level? Now if you are interested in the details of how the morphology of biology works I'm a recent graduate of the Soil Food Web FC classes, and so I know what kind of biology to look for that really facilitates healthy plant life and healthy nutritional cycling that happens on a microscopic level. So if you're interested on the details of how biology works, be sure to check out my Patreon page where I go into more detail of how biology works in soil and what to look for. All right, so today for the basics. Now this is a shadowing microscope, meaning we're gonna be using shadowing uh, which is at the base of the condenser here, in order to give more contrast to the biology we're trying to look at in our samples. So the first thing I want to go over is the type of microscope that this is and the features that are to it. Now this is not a super expensive microscope. It's typically, I bought it for under $300, but it's the type of microscope that you need in order to look at biology. So what features that you're looking for in order to properly check out biology a lever here that will change the shadowing amount which will give you the contrast needed in order to check out the biology on your slide. You want something with a large and small focus adjuster on the side and this is ambidextrous so it has both on either side. You want something with at least 400 magnification to check out uh, more specific things on your microorganisms um, the 400 power is the sum of the 10x powered eyepieces with the 40x objective. And at 400x magnification, you can see the mouth parts of nematodes to figure out what kind of nematodes that they are. Now this one has four objectives. It has a 4, a 10, a 40, and a 100x objective for 1000 total magnification. And uh, it's a great microscope. I don't ever use the 1000. I pretty much go between the, the 4, the 10, and the 40. So that's pretty much all I need in order to check out what I'm looking at. So the second part here is going to be this micro adjusting uh, table. So you, you can do very small adjustments on the X and Y axis for your slide as you're looking at your sample. The next is having an adjustable condenser. Now this is what helps bring the, the background into focus. The third, and I would say is more or less uh, like an accessory or, not, or an option, is to have this third eye optic adapter. And this is where I use an adapter to put my iPhone on there and just adjust it so I can get shots uh, of everything and it makes it really easy so that I don't have to have an external camera to hook this up to a computer. So as soon as you have your microscope the first thing you want to do is set it up which you want to get your 10x eyepieces on you want to get your objectives on this rotating pendulum here which is basically going to allow you to switch between all your different objectives. Next you want to do I'm going to turn our light on next you want to do is you want to go to your smallest objective which in this case is the four and you want to bring this tabletop all the way to the very top. The next thing you're going to want to do is adjust the focus at this first objective. 
If you're like me and you wear glasses, you definitely want to take your glasses off. Um, from what I learned from Dr. Elaine, the glass from, from your glasses can actually, uh, people don't pay attention that they're there and they'll end up hurting their eyes or breaking their glasses or those kinds of things. So you want to be real, really careful about that. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust downward with our large adjuster to get things into focus. As soon as I use that large adjuster and I'm in focus, now I can work on the next step. I'm gonna use a, a, a tissue and I'm gonna put this tissue over the light down below, but I'm gonna only cover half of the actual light's glass surface. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna uh, enable me to adjust the background that's adjusted by my condenser in order to make sure that the entire slide I'm looking through is completely in focus. Now, when I'm focusing the condenser, I wanna make sure that that tissue paper the edge of the line of the tissue paper comes into focus and I can clearly see the edge of that tissue paper line. And that's how I know my condenser is in focus. Next, I want to individually adjust this eyepiece to make sure that I'm seeing a complete circle. Now that I know that I have a complete circle, my condenser is in focus, my focus knobs are in a greater degree of focus for the 4x objective, I want to close one eye individually and make sure that both of these eye pieces are also in focus. So first I'll close the left eye and just get a really tight focus for the right eye. And then I'll close my right eye and make sure here I get a really good focus for my left. Once I have focus for both eyes, I'm ready to go at this point. So now that our microscope is all set up, now we're gonna show you how to set up your slide and get your slide ready for viewing under your microscope. First, you're gonna start with your slide. Now, on your slide, you wanna make sure that you get your drop centered in the middle, X and Y axis, up and down, left to right, get your drop right in the middle. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna take your cover slip and you wanna slide your cover slip over that drop, which will start to spread the drop out. And you wanna spread it out about the width of what your cover slip is. Once you've spread that liquid out, Go ahead and slowly and gently drop your cover slip toward the center of your slide. Now, it may take some practice in order to make sure that you get this right, but once you get a little bit of practice, it doesn't take long in order to get your cover slip decently centered onto your slide. At this point, you can put your slide right into your microscope and go ahead and take a look. Now you're ready to check things out. Now that I've shown you how the basics of using your microscope, like this video if you guys like the information of how to set up this microscope, and be sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in learning more about how to do samples and how to look under your microscope to check biology. In the next two videos, we're gonna go over doing a soil sample and doing a liquid sample, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss those new videos. Thanks guys for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one.